Hey, what's up guys? So today we're going to be checking out the new Yu-Gi-Oh! Omega trailer over here that just released. I'll give you guys my thoughts, my reactions to it. So let's go ahead and just play it out in its full entirety and then I'll uh, go ahead and like kind of do a rewatch and fast forward and go back and check out the newer features with this as I'm really excited about this uh, new Yu-Gi-Oh! game that will be coming out this year. So YGO Omega, everything presented in this video is not final and is subject to change over here. So we have Pendulum Summon over here, uh, and then we've got Link Summon. Uh, this is the 3D angle. So and then we have Synchro Summon Tilted 3D angle. One thing I like is this like card artwork where you can see the card, like there's like a, a, a pop out of a card, if that makes any sense with the monsters. And I'm guessing you can disable it. This is something in Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2 that I really liked, and I really felt like it separated Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 1 to Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2, but with Yu-Gi-Oh! Omega, um, with all the options to change it, we got custom themes. It's something that uh, I do it technically. I have an earlier version of this game. I can't share it with you guys yet, but when it comes out, guys, I will give you guys like the tutorial on how to download and play this game uh, once it does release. Uh, but there's a lot of things that I do want to go ahead and kind of touch up upon uh, over here that you guys might not actually know about as I'm not sure if it's going to be shown off over here. But there's a really cool theme system that they're going to have, and it's going to be basically animated backgrounds that you guys can actually purchase, which I, I want to support them in terms of like the game itself. Rarities this is something new. I haven't seen this before. He didn't even tell me about this. All right, because I do have uh, a few contacts uh, with some people that are working on Yu-Gi-Oh games. Dude, this is awesome. We have Ghost Rare, uh, Christian Needle Five, or uh, Christian Halk. Halky Fire Racks over here. That's really cool. This is an awesome change. And you earn them by playing the game, which is a free game, and everything is available for you at the start. Now, keep in mind, this is not an official Konami game. Uh, I, I wish we get a, a new official game. Okay, let me see this. As I have not seen this uh, menu over here, um, maybe in, in a newer change, it looks like this thing is kind of covered up over here. But it does integrate it with Discord, as far as I'm aware of, unless they've changed that. But you can even set an FPS level. 300 FPS Yu-Gi-Oh games. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I like this uh, system over here. You can see, oh, I'll, I'll go back and pause it later. Uh, but we have manual mode as well. This is something that uh, some people might be more interested in if you play on like Dueling Book. This is a good way for you guys to go ahead and uh, play more manually. Like, you know, where like as in you have to argue with rulings uh, as in something I'm probably not going to mess around with. But anyways, over here on the bottom left, this is something that is a newer change that I have not been aware of. Uh, maybe they have updated since I last played uh, on Omega. But uh, anyways, I like that it shows the text uh, in colors. It makes it so much cleaner because if any of you guys have played this, some of the older Yu-Gi-Oh games where you check the log, it's just blank text and it's it's really primitive. It's outdated and I think that this is a really, really nice change, especially for you guys that are playing in manual mode. You're like, wait, hold on. Let me make sure, you know, whatever, you know, effect was activated over here. Um, everything in one place. Okay. So we see the attack over here. I know my face cam's technically blocking the other guy in the top right's HP. I'll, I'll go ahead and move my cam out of the way. Uh, but I mean, it's just the guy's HP. I don't think I was really covering up anything with my face cam over here. As this is a reaction video. I love it though. Um, I, I, I think the thing that I personally enjoy the most. Ooh, that, that animation looks spicy. Was that like a victory screen? You know what would be cool, right? Uh, is we, if we could unlock different victory screens. I saw that we can earn the cards. Um, Why'd you Omega? Pretty cool trailer though. More info in the description below. All right, coming this year. All right. So anyways, let me go ahead and kind of do a recap of essentially what I enjoyed with this because they do want feedback. And if you guys saw anything in the trailer, um, definitely let me know as I do have someone as a contact. And if we get a bunch of like, let's say thumbs up on one thing, um, definitely let me know because this is the, guy, the game that a lot of you guys will probably be playing. And I hope this is the one game that everyone will be playing. So one thing I do like, like I mentioned before, I really like the 3D card artwork. It's, it's just more so, I know for some of you guys that have played the game for a really long time, but for those newer players, this is a really nice change. And they're also showing off that you can see the level here. I hated counting the stars. I'm sure some of you guys have sometimes miscounted the stars or something. Or, I mean, even in Yu-Gi-Oh, sometimes when you've been playing for hours and hours and you're late into the night, sometimes <laughs> you don't realize that the, the level was wrong. And I like this. This is more so for the rush like uh, format where you can actually change the cards. And I'm pretty sure we can change the uh, card artwork if I, I'm not mistaken. Uh, like we can change it so it's like the normal Yu-Gi-Oh cards that we're familiar with. Or we can do like the rush theme, which I like the most because everything is really clean, right? You can see the levels. That's the most important thing. Like the, the attribute and stuff and the type, th that's never been a problem for me. It's just the levels. I don't like counting them sometimes, especially when it goes really high into the numbers over here. But um, 
overall UI is looking pretty clean. This is a change up over here. And I'm curious to know how you guys feel about this because when I was talking about some suggestions over here, because how it works is there's like the main phase and it kind of goes in this little like circle here. I've always personally enjoyed the, like you can see there's a rewind and fast forward. I like this feature. It's really helpful for any of us that are content creators because when we're seeing a play, we can go back and be like, oh yeah, let's go step by step on a combo. On EDO Pro and some of the other Yu-Gi-Oh games, this is a feature that always breaks the game. Um, so I'm hoping that this will be something that uh, will not break games. But I've always kind of enjoyed having the main phase like like you would see it in a row i think especially for newer players it kind of helps them out but maybe this could be addressed with themes we'll have to wait and see but in terms of like because i've mentioned this before but i'm curious to know how you guys feel about this being a little circle versus like it being in the steps um but uh, overall i would say that, that i can't really offer many suggestions the interface looks really good and since we can customize the uh, custom themes which you guys will be able to purchase i'm not sure if we're going to have any of these unlocks as well but you guys got to remember this is all fan project they need to make money somehow and if there's a really cool you know theme of some of your favorite ones definitely support them as you know this is the game that uh, is just made from literally like their care out of uh, you know their own time here but i like the idea of custom themes as well uh, we already had the ability to kind of change our backgrounds but these are going to be like more complex here uh leaderboards looks, it, it looks good i um, mean i don't really have any suggestions for that the deck manager being able to search that's cool too it's nothing too new um but it, the interface definitely looks a lot nicer I mean, we, we have basically what looked like like Windows 98 for EDO Pro and stuff. This is the feature that I like the most. I know my uh, cam is, let me move my cam on the top over here. So you guys can see it says rarities earn them by grinding ranked. So that's going to be a really cool feature. The reason why I like this is because it gives us a drive to actually play the game, right? Because, you know, I mean, as a content creator, I play sometimes literally just to get footage and that makes sense. But if I can have these higher rarity cards, it, it adds that like, oh, he's got that ghost rare one. I'm not sure how these are gonna work for ranked. Um, let me know guys how you guys would like unlocking them. Do you guys like a system where it's a point system or do you like guys like at random or is it just gonna, if you play a certain amount, it foils out your entire deck or maybe each season you get to foil out a couple of them. Is there gonna be a battle pass? I don't know. These are all ideas that I really like, but you can see all the rarities here that they're gonna have. Um, so we have common, rare, super rare ultra rare secret rare uh ultimate rare uh prismatic and we have ghost i think ghost is my favorite i'm curious to know what your guys' favorite rarity is down below as uh we really haven't had um ghost rares in the tcg in quite some time i think they were trying to bring them back with one of the posts but uh uh, the UI is customizable. So let's check out this. I'm really uh, interested in seeing what we can do. Uh, again, the only thing I, I uh, saw that I personally would want to change is just that like main phase one. But let's see, replay sharing. This is actually a really cool uh, feature as well uh, where you can obviously share your replays. And I hope that it's the same standard format because with EDO Pro, uh, sometimes people send me replays on Dueling Book. I want these all to be kind of one file type, like all YDK or all YRP, obviously from... Uh, Dueling book, those are going to be like impossible to translate into like a, a game where like the thing is like automatic versus manual. But uh, I like this idea uh, of uh, being able to change the um, the view if you want to change it to like that 3D. They mentioned that before. Um, so I'm curious also what you guys prefer because as a content creator, I want to give you guys what you guys want. As much as I personally enjoyed Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2's look, um, you guys just all like Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 1, so that's why I stuck with it. But you can see that there's like this different angle. Like this one looks more like, I would say, next gen over here. But for some of us that really like that classic Yu-Gi-Oh! look, which is this, like the top down, where you can see everything real easy and clean, I think I might go with this one. This is the 2D view. You guys can see, you can change the camera angle. Now this game will probably be a little bit more demanding than let's say Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro um, 1 in terms of like what it's required. Or, generally everyone's on EDO Pro now, right? But I think that that's okay. Um, but I'm also wondering if they're going to be supporting like uh, mobile, like Android, Mac, or whatever the case may be, Linux. I know sometimes people are like, yo, are they going to support Linux? I don't know, man. I just, I'm just here to give you guys the videos. Uh, I don't know the ins and outs of it. But if you guys have questions um, or suggestions, definitely let me know in the comment section below as I do have a contact. And um, if you see someone else uh, that you know already said what you uh, wanted, give them a thumbs up so that way I can know that that's like a more important or a more of a priority to go ahead and uh, cover here but i like this and you know what's one thing i also just noticed these move like 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 ch check out these rarities like when you see this they move so it, that's cool so it's not like a static image so that was something I, he never told me about uh which was one of the guys that was working on the game that i like that feature again this will separate the players that want to play on like you know 
EDO Pro versus this. Like you again have something to go ahead and grind towards. And it's gonna have Discord integration and on top of that, they're gonna have like these tournaments that will be all automatically run so you don't have to like wait. Some of you guys have probably played those dueling brook tournaments and oh my gosh, it's a nightmare to run those and even play in those because sometimes it just takes too long and if it's all automatic with these tournaments i think this would be really good and when i was talking to him um with one of the guys that's working on the game they said they want to do like like events here so i'm really excited to see with you know how good it's already looking and also these victory screens can we get custom victory screens that uh, again you know it's like a dollar or two you know i i wouldn't mind supporting them and again i'm really looking forward to them uh, to this game so if you guys want to watch the full trailer uh, without me talking i'll pin it down below but i like it uh, i'm really excited to see where this game goes this year but anyways thanks for tuning guys hopefully you enjoyed the video and when i can give you guys the gameplay and cover the game uh, i definitely will give you guys it asap as uh, you know i do have a contact with one of the guys working on the game anyways take it easy guys hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did drop a like on it if you guys are new here guys make sure you guys subscribe and turn on that bell so you don't miss out as soon as i get the green light i will share the files with you guys the how to download the tutorials the ins and outs and everything with the game also another important feature that i i want to go ahead and actually mention uh, really quick is that um you can do test hands with this this is one thing i love with uh edo pro and you can still do test hands with this that's one of the most important things anyways I'll catch you in the next video. Have a good one, and I'm signing out. Peace.